Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, you guys know Old Blue by now, if you've been keeping up. It's, uh, yeah, the 2003 Ford F-250 Super Duty that I've had since it was brand new. And, well, yeah, we got this red one on the other side of me now. And we'll just say I bought that about a week ago. And if everything works out well, it's actually going to replace Old Blue, you know. This has been a great truck. Um, it's just that it's getting so rusty. You know, you look at this box side, and when you can do that, it's just, uh, <laughs> it's it's beyond its prime for sure. And it's a shame because this truck has been so reliable. Like I said before, I bought it brand new in 2003. There I was, like 20 years old, and signing my life away for the next five years well, worked hard, paid it off two years early, as a matter of fact, been driving it ever since, and dependable, and still runs just great, and the interior is just awesome, but the problem is that the poor thing's falling apart, just, you know, too many years in the, in the rust belt. So, the other day, well, I should say about a week ago, at the Ford Prison, this truck was traded in. Now, this is another 2003. These are pretty much the same truck with two major exceptions. The red one is a long box, whereas Old Blue is a short box. And the red one has the Triton 6.8 liter V10, whereas Old Blue has the Triton 5.4 liter V8. And, well, in my world, just so long as it's not a diesel, I'm good with it. Um, I know everything there is to know about these diesels. I'm the diesel guy at the Ford dealer, have been for a while. And there's just some headaches I don't care to bring home with me. I only own gasoline engine trucks. and. V10s really don't have anything to gripe about with them personally. I've seen some here that have been through the ringer and then some and have still just been going strong. Um, probably the, the the only two real gripes I have is the V10 is very thirsty. It's not a fuel efficient engine at all. And all these Triton engines have a reputation for breaking, breaking exhaust manifold studs and then you get exhaust leaks and the 5.4, V8, you can change out manifold studs, whatever, with the engine in the vehicle, no problem. The V10, the 6.8, you have to pull the engine out to access all that stuff. So this one doesn't have any exhaust leaks at all, and I think if that ever came to be, well, I'd just sell it and make it somebody else's problem, right? So let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison real quick. They're both 2003s. Old Blue has 114,000 miles on it. This one we're calling Big Red. V10, longer box, bigger truck. We'll go with Big Red right here. Big Red's got 127, so mileage is comparable between the two. Old Blue, of course, is a Rust Belt truck and has shows all the signs of that. Big Red actually came from Arizona, so it's got, like, sun baking damage on it. You can see the hood is getting a little bit cloudy. Headlights are getting very cloudy. The grill is really faded, whereas you look at Old Blue, what's not rusty still has a pretty good shine, and headlights are clear grills not faded stuff like that but you know the metal's getting too soft over here the metal's still all excellent with big red of course on old blue paint peeling all over you can take a look at like the bottom of the driver's door here weather strips gone great big holes in it door skin starting to get loose open up the back door you can see how nasty that striker is just getting real bad rusty bottom of this door is much the same way hole right through it when you go to close the door it's getting that loose cab door sag kind of rattle to it you can see you know like the here's the cab corner at the bottom it's just gone and I showed you guys what this looks like in here once before but pull the bed mat back and yeah you can uh, see my foot down there you can you can see the ground that's how bad the box is on old blue we're getting holes rotted through the wheel well and of course how loose the box is look at the sag it's getting on probably close to two inches right now they start getting that broke back look to them where it looks like the whole truck is sagging in the middle but it's just that the box is starting to set down at the front compare that now to big red nice and solid again we got some sun baking damage on this f-250 badge but you know coming out of the desert that is to be expected. Door opens nice and crisp though. You can see weather strip is still in place. 
door is solid. There's no door jam rust at all. Look at that, striker still has paint on it. We're not all rotted through down there. Look at this. And it's it's not loose. There's no cab sag going on here. Those things still open and close like they're new. You can see, cab corner is nice and solid. Box is nice and solid and no holes. And it's got a gooseneck hitch in it, which is a good thing. I still can pull my implement trailer if I so choose. A quick look at the inside. Um, yeah, typical Southwest truck. We have the, the carpet on the dash. That's to prevent that from getting sun baked and cracked and stuff. And I'll, I'll probably pull that off. I don't need that on there. You can see the door panels are getting a little bit light colored. We have some sun damage there to be expected. You can see around the cup holder on the center console here, that thing's starting to shrink up. Again, that's that sun and heat does that. So I can get another one of those plenty cheap. But otherwise, you know, interior's not horrible. It's the tan. I don't like the tan as much as the gray and old blue, even though gray shows dirt a lot better. But yeah, you can see how that console's still, you know, not deformed yet in old blue. We don't we don't get the sun damage, we just get the salt having a look under the hood um yeah so this v10 is well same born stroke as a 5.4 v8 it's just got two extra cylinders tacked onto it otherwise it's the same modular engine design like i said i really don't worry much with these i've i personally have not seen any kind of real problems with these um they uh well one other major difference is they run balance shafts above the cams in these that's why the valve covers so much taller but you know they had more engine to balance out whereas a 5.4 you know just it's it's a it's a bit simpler there are a few less parts and it gets a little bit better mileage but yeah um gasoline engine just fine with me so you can even see under here like the master cylinder or the, the well the master cylinder's got some pretty good corrosion starting right there the brake boosters just about rotted through even like uh the brake pressure switch here all scaly you can see that steering shaft down there really rusted just nothing nothing is spared from the salt in this country so and compare that with all this stuff i mean most of this looks like it was put in you know recently brake pressure switch good steering shaft good really the only thing i see under here that would cause me concern is this die hard battery that means i'll probably be putting a new one of those in before winter time but otherwise pretty clean pretty stand up and another thing i sealed the deal with these they're essentially the same truck when it comes to snowplow accessories. So I can swap the snowplow mount and all of the wiring right off of Old Blue here and just bolt it on and plug it right into Big Red and I've still got something to push my plow. So that was just another factor that made me decide this one's rolling the dice on. So I've been driving Big Red back and forth to work for a week and no problems at all so i think we've got a new channel beater truck everybody for sure a winter beater that's going to keep the f-350 out of the salt and uh something that can push my snow plow and something that also sets the clock back about 10 years rust factor wise over where old blue currently is it's it's a deal where i wasn't planning on buying another truck at all Old Blue was at the point where I was going to need to be flat bedding it very soon, probably before this winter because the box is literally falling off of it. Um, there would have been some expense involved in that, some labor, but then you're still dealing with a truck that's literally deteriorating around you and all the other problems would pop up because of that. And then this red one just kind of showed up and the year was right to transfer all my snowplow stuff. The mileage was right for how old it is. The engine was right because I didn't really want a diesel anyway. and. It's just something I decided to roll the dice on. Don't get me wrong, I like Old Blue. Um, you know, us gearheads get attached to our machines. <laughs> I'm not saying it's like a person, they're not. But every machine has its own personality. You get used to it and selling Old Blue would be like seeing an old friend go. It's uh, not really looking forward to it, but you know, I'm also not against taking some of the better exterior plastic parts like the headlamps and the grill and everything off of old blue popping onto big red here making this one as nice as i can so i guess old blue would live on in some way right but yeah boy it's been a great truck but all of that salt it just tears them up boy let's get out of some sun huh so all right that's um that's about everything i wanted to cover right here new channel beater truck i think it's going to pan out hopefully probably become a fixture on the channel 
I'm gonna it's gonna take some time getting used to saying big red and not old blue but I guess we'll get it times change everything turns over eventually right so thanks for watching everybody